Hey guys, it's kind of weird. Let me just back up. It's me just making a video because I know I haven't in a, in a while, probably two months. And I didn't make one in February, so I'm just doing one in March. But this video is really just about like, we can call it an update, call it, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm just thinking about my journey as a YouTuber. It's really been about two and a half years. It kind of started fall of 2021. And obviously, there's not much going on this channel, and majority of it, majority, all of it's my, my fault, my response. It's solely on me because every day I talk about being a YouTuber, every day I talk about wanting to pursue this career that I think will be huge in the future, but don't put 100% effort into doing that. Like I have a friend, and he'll know what he he know who he is, who sends me multiple videos on Instagram every day about motivation. And every time I watch that motivation, it's about thirty second clips, and I watch it every time he sends it, and I get motivated for that thirty seconds. And like thirty seconds later, I'm like out of it. But if I truly want to do something, if I truly want to be a YouTuber, if I truly want to be successful, if I truly want to see this space face brand that I want to build. Like I, I can see it being a brand, a, a, my own personal brand. I can see it being selling products, doing this, doing that, similar to Mr. Beast, but obviously it'll be me and you know what I, what I like to do and just things that, uh, things that are special to me, like candles, which is hard to believe. But I can see all that in the future. I can see all of that. But it should start now. It's just I should do this now. And there's just been a lot of doubt. I don't know if it's just me and you know talking, talking to a camera, which is kind of hard right now to do. But I'm some I've somewhat had like a rough night last night, early morning. So it's kind of like okay, that kind of gave me the confidence to just do this video and get it over with. But like. I don't know if it's just doubt within myself, like, you know, can I even do this? Can I even, can I even be a YouTuber? Can I really pursue this as a career? Uh, which obviously I have to make time, like I have to sacrifice time out of my day to do this, which is no problem. But I have another friend, him and my other friend are pretty close. And he's actually suggested I, uh, add some stuff to the wall to make sure my 1,370 subscribers or the 35 of you that watch have something to look at and just not this barren white wall and this this guy sitting in the middle of it but I don't know it's they both say the same thing it was like fuck it like I really don't I shouldn't cuss on YouTube it's not really bad it's bad for optimization and my video getting pushed out there but really it's who's watching anyways it's just one of those one of those early videos where you see five or ten years from now and you're grateful that you made it without with minimal edits without minimal maybe i can add a thumbnail to this who knows maybe not to keep the authentic authenticity of this of, of this channel and show my gradual growth but you know back to what i was saying that my two friends said the same thing and it's like do you mess up Make these mistakes. Do whatever. Do what. Get it all out of your system and just grow each day, one percent better each day. And every day I listen to them, but I don't act on it. And it shouldn't take a bad day, a bad argument, whatever it may be, to just say have that effort mentality and post a video. If I see this as a career, if I see, if I truly want to help people in the future, if I want to travel the world and do these things and meet these people and help out and give back as much as I can, why would I care what you guys think? Of course I do because you're my fan base or whatever few of you there are, but why would I care? Why would I do that stuff? The whole point is to grow this channel to as big as it can be make money of course but that's just to help other people out like i don't care about materialistic things i don't care about 
shirts, t-shirts, obviously posters, which again, to my friend, I will put, uh, I will put some up. You gotta stop by the local home, op home office, office depot to, uh, to get that settled. But you know, everything I do here is not only for me to build my confidence in talking on camera, which some of you may think like, oh yeah, he's talking to the camera pretty fine. But again, I'm in this state where I'm just like, F it. Nobody's watching, nobody will judge me. I could just do this right now, get knocked out the way, get it over with. But, you know, it's, it, it, I think for me it's just hard because I'm not used to talking in front of people. I'm not used to putting myself out there. I'm not used to being vulnerable, especially coming from an athletic background. None, none of that sh stuff is, ex well, I don't say it's accepted. You know, you have a team chaplain, people you can talk to, stuff like that. But, like, it's more like, all right, you suck it up, do it, do it, do it, you know, whatever. Which is, that can work on YouTube to a certain extent. Like, you may not get the views you want. You may not get the, the push you, from the platform that you so desperately need to make money for the month and do this and do that. But that's just part of the process. It's just growing. And I have to realize that. I shouldn't have to be in a pissy mood to make a video. I shouldn't have to be in this, like, state of anger and confusion and this and this just to put something out there like I feel comfortable doing this now just because I want to do it and but then there's also people who like doubt you and that's kind of my biggest issue like I, I like to I'm a people pleaser I like to make people happy I don't like letting people down and which I feel like I have because I've, I started this journey two years ago but really there's only been two videos, three videos posted since then. Why? Because I'm waiting for everything to be perfect before, I'm waiting for everything to be perfect before I actually make a video. I have to wait for the perfect poster, the perfect video idea, the perfect thumbnail for everything to work in my favor, for me to not to let that person down. My two friends, now let's just say their initials are MT and IT. They have been some of my biggest supporters since fall of 22. And even though I haven't even posted videos in over, over the past two months, they have not stopped motivating me, supporting me, encouraging me to do more with my channel because they know they know the potential. They know how excited this makes me. They know how how bad I want this. But they can't want it for me, you know. It's only so much they can do and say that I will listen to and actually act upon. And my actions have not been consistent with what my dreams and my aspirations are. I think we're, we're, we're living in a world where Personal brands are out are beginning to outshine these bigger brands. Like you see, Mr. Beast and his Feastables chocolate outshining Hershey's, and Logan Paul and KSI with their brands outshining outshining uh, Gatorade, outselling Gatorade. And uh, now they just sold. They just uh, signed an eight eight figure deal with WWE. You know the biggest uh, brand deal in WWE history. Like. And then, like, that's just the beginning. That is just the beginning of the creator economy. And I always have this feeling like I'm 26. I'm 26 years old. I've been out of college for two years. I'm struggling to find my meaning in life. But I know I can share my opinions, my videos, my likes, my interests on YouTube. And that can bring some type of income. So I kind of do it as a hobby right now. But if I want to be as successful as I see myself being in the future, it has to be more than the hobby. And MT's always told me like, you have to put in more than eight hours a day to pursue, the, to pursue these goals, to pursue these dreams, pursue these passions. And he's one of my biggest mentors. So is IT, but he's more like a brother to me. And I'd be doing them a disservice, but not going all in doing myself a disservice for, by not going all in. 10 years from now, and I'm not, I'm not big on like 
celebrities and shit and stuff. But I want to be known. I want to do these things. I want to have these philanthropic efforts. I want to give back. I want to do these fun videos. I want to bring my friends on. I want to do all these things. I want to do all these things. But it starts now. And I know every YouTuber has doubt about like, who's going to say what? What if somebody thinks this about me? What if somebody thinks that about me? Like, people will say a lot of stuff. Maybe stuff they don't mean. Maybe they're insecure about their own stuff. Their, their, their own, you know, current state in life. And they take that anger out on someone else because, you know, they're just, they're just projecting. And I know I've done it too. I'm not going to lie. Like, there, there, there are times I've been, and I'll say this in a nice way, like, I've been very critical of other YouTubers or other videos I don't like on YouTube because, like, I know there can be better, better videos out there. Again, me projecting. I know there can be, my videos can be better than theirs. Because I'm so self-conscious about myself. I don't put the video out there myself, so I just go on somebody else's video and say, like, man, this would be better. Man, that sucks. Why? Why tear somebody else down? The thing I'm afraid of, I'm doing to somebody else. Why tear them down? Why criticize them? Oh, well, nothing's wrong with critiquing, but why berate them? Knowing they're trying to have the same dreams, aspirations, and goals that I, I want. And no one can outwork me. Everything is always, let me say this to the camera, no one can outwork me. I, I, I've been through hell and back for the past five, six years, seven years. I'm going to say nine, last number. And uh, everything's just a mind game. YouTube isn't a physical game. It's a mind game. What's the perfect thumbnail? What's the perfect title? What's the perfect video idea? And there's so much repetitiveness on YouTube where it's like, and I'll make another video about this, the same ideas get recycled. The same ideas. Where's the originality? Where is like the new, like the same, like the thumbnails, everybody, every thumbnail is Mr. Beastified. Why? Every, every video idea is, I want to, I just spent 100 hours here. I spent 100 hours there. 100 years of uh, school lunches. 100, this, like, come on, dude. Like, where is the originality that made YouTube so special? And then I, I, I begin to think, like, is it my job to bring that back? Obviously, the, the responsibility doesn't fall on me. But there has to be some type of, like, martyr. There has to be, like, a catalyst. Someone who just sets things off. Like, a new era, a new wave of YouTube where, like, these, like, repetitive, these recycled ideas are no more. A new wave of ideas, a new wave of creativity. And that's what I want to do. Like, I spent the last couple months reading book after book after book after book, hoping I reached this certain level of knowledge where I'm like, yes, I'm ready for YouTube. But really, YouTube is just me sitting in front of this camera in a blank wall, with a blank wall, and just sharing my ideas, sharing my voice, sharing my opinions, and hoping it can relate to you guys. Telling you a story, my story, just taking you on a story that you, you're, you're able to follow along and hopefully relate to. That's all I'm here for. That's all I hope to be here for. And I'm only 26 and the average age of creators in the creator economy is 40. 14 years. You can't tell me in 14 years I won't find someone watching this video and give them back something. Give them back, a, give them a car, give them an X amount of money. Because I wouldn't be in this position or the position I see myself in without you guys. So, I don't know. I've had a lot on my mind and I feel like me just talking and Voicing my anger, voicing these opinions, voicing, expressing myself, kind of just letting it out instead of just keeping it bottled in, kind of helped me a lot. So I hope you guys, you know, like, subscribe. It's March of 2024. You can't tell me in six or seven months, shit doesn't change. And that's a shit that's intentionally, forget about optimization for this one, but you can't tell me things can't be different.
if I continuously show up every day and put in the work. So gradually, as you guys watch these videos, you like, you share, whatever it may be, audio will get better. IT already criticized me on that. Posters will go up. Will go up. IT already, you know, uh, criticized me about that. Uh, consistency will go up. MT, that's on you, man. I'm gonna get you on that. Consistency will go up. My ideation process, which is, I feel like one of the best out there. I have a whole list of ideas and concepts in my Google Drive. Something I learned from you, and. Uh, it's just a matter of acting on these, on these thoughts, on these, acting on these thoughts, this kind of sounds weird, but acting on taking the, nece the necessary steps to being where I want to be. And honestly, I should probably have some streamers or something. This is like my longest video ever on this channel. And most of y'all won't watch past two minutes, three minutes, but it's okay. I still have the rest of 2024 20, 20, to go. 25, 26, 27, 28. It's, it's a long game and I'm ready to play it. So, again, hope you guys like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.